Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and to another video. So iOS 14 might actually be closer than we initially anticipated. The Worldwide Developers Conference, also known as WWDC, has been announced today by Apple. Today, Apple actually made quite a number of announcements, and the major one has to do with WWDC. Now, the event is scheduled to take place on the 22nd of June. That's when Apple announced it will be holding WWDC, the initial start. So usually when WWDC kicks off, that's when we also get the first developers beta of Apple's next biggest software. So if we were to look onto the Apple website that I have here on my screen, this is just a few Mac models that I was comparing. There's a new 13 inch MacBook Pro that has been released. I'm sure you know that by now and I'm just comparing to see um, whether it makes sense to have it and a new video will be dropping soon on that. So if we were to go to the Apple's homepage right here and then go all the way down to where it says newsroom right here. So if you click on newsroom we can see that you know what pops up on the main page right there is WWDC. So if we open that, we can see that yes, it's set to take place on the 22nd of June. And for the first time in history, this event is actually going to be held online. Apple has never done that before. And for the first time in the history of WWDC and Apple, this is the first time that we are going to have it as an online event. Now, the major highlights that I got from this is that we are possibly going to get a new iOS that is the iOS 14 that I'm showing you right here on this iPhone and also we might see another new iPad OS, Mac OS, TV OS and watch OS and also if you are a young developer you are being encouraged to send in whatever you have been coding and if your presentation does become outstanding you win something from Apple and also something interesting worth mentioning if you are a developer you are being encouraged to download the the Apple developers app and this app can basically be found on their app store and a lot of information that includes keynotes and platform state of union details session and schedules and more will be shared on that app and that developers app now I do have that developers app on my iPhone and the way you find this app is basically by going to the app store and then just type in developer and you see that it comes up here as Apple developer app and just download it and when you open it also you will notice that one of the first and major things that it highlights is WWDC and if you open it you are going to see the same basically as what's on the website and the only difference that I noticed between the website and the mobile app is that the mobile app mentions that winners will receive an exclusive WWDC 20 jacket and pin set. So if you develop a code and your code is outstanding, that's what you win from WWDC. So anyways, that's something small that I thought I should share with you when it comes to iOS 14 and WWDC. Now I'm going to also be testing iOS 14 when the first beta comes out as a public beta tester. So make sure you subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss the latest updates when it comes to iOS 14. If you like the video, leave a like and subscribe down below. And thank you very much for watching. Stay safe and I will definitely see you in the next video. Peace.